<sighs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mav, where we do fishing, hunting, camping, everything outdoors. Today I'm in the middle of Wisconsin. I slept in the back of my truck last night and I am off to the shores of Lake Michigan. So I'm running to Lake Michigan to go catch some steelhead while they're running up the streams. Yeah, it's about 6.30 in the morning. Just slept in the back of my truck for the first time. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's the one before this, so I'll leave a little link in the description below. Definitely cold. Definitely a lot colder than I expected. I need to get on the road and get to the spot. It's just, it's just time. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. See you later. Alright, I have officially made it. So steelhead are something that I've been targeting on the fly for a long time. I've been going for them for three years. Today I'm hoping to beat that and get my first steelhead on the fly. And I've actually never caught a brown trout on the fly, so if I catch either one of those things, today is a good day. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all geared up, get my line ready, and head down to the river. All right, well, mission adjourned. Catching a steelhead on the fly over here is definitely not possible, and I actually ran into, ran into some saviors, hopefully. You wanna introduce yourself? Introduce I am Brady, friends with Grady, <laughs> who uh, kinda gave you the word to come up, but, um, well, we just kinda have our own little Racine Guggen squad, if you could say. Um, All right, well, yeah, like I said, not able to catch him on the fly today, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> so we're gonna use the uh, the drift rods, we're gonna use some spinning gear, we're gonna use spawn sacks, and uh, we're gonna catch some fish hopefully. So stay tuned, fish are coming at you. Just All right. you back there. Yeah, no, these guys are just making me look like a pile of dust right now. We are 30 <laughs> seconds in right now, first drift, and we are on 
with a nice, hopefully, mama steelhead. Dude, that's crazy. Literally your first cast. First cast. Yeah, peep the PJs. So, wait a minute, Marv, the intern's down at the root. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me go show them up quick. Here, dude, do you want me to? I can, I, get can, I can get it. Look, I got my waders on, dude. <laughs> I got, I got. You sure? Oh. Oh. And there we go. So that's how to catch a steelhead, apparently. There we are. A root river steelhead. From one to the other, what's my, going on? My boy Luis is hooked up here. Hasn't been fishing since last fall. And he's already he's already dialed. I don't mess up net jobs, man. Come on. <laughs> Nice job, dude. Yep. Heck yeah. <laughs> These guys are showing me up already. Is this is this a common occurrence? Um, today it is. You might want to get your line in the water. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my line in the water. I'm just gonna <laughs> shut this thing off right now. Okay. Really? Hooked up. Is it a bagging? You can't move it? Nope. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's huge. That thing's huge. Dude, this thing is giant. Oh my god, dude. It's so big. That thing's huge. Oh, it's, it's off. It came off like right when I got it in. Nice steelhead. Mama, pretty. Took it down once, popped back up and took it down again. Sick, dude. Well, I think, I think Grady's gonna keep that fish, right? Yeah, probably. Gonna keep that one for eggs, they're gonna make skein out of it. Um, that's one of the bigger steelhead that I've ever seen. You think you're gonna be able to get a lot of eggs out of that one? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> All right guys, it's about five o'clock. We're kind of in the last hour or two of daylight here. And uh, Grady and his buddy decided to join me down here before I hunker down in my truck for a night's sleep. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can't get a steelhead with just a couple hours left in the day. Um, there's definitely fish in this pool and there's still hope yet today. So let's, uh, let's get a line in the water and let's hopefully catch some fish. Two nights ago, on my way to Wisconsin, I stayed in my truck. Um, this is a steelhead trip, and I had high hopes that in the morning I would drive out and I'd just be catching all the steelhead on a fly rod. Well, my dreams were crushed yesterday after casting and casting. I ended up meeting an amazing group of subscribers that wanted to take me out, and they showed me the way of the road, and it's definitely not with flies, it's with spawn sacks. So, yesterday we ended up catching three fish. Today I'm hopefully gonna catch my first steelhead on on the uh, on the spawn sacks. I don't know. The boys are already fishing. 
I'm playing with my cameras, getting everything set up. I'm always a slow poke, but let's uh, let's get down there and see if we can't catch a fish this morning. Morning, boys. What's the morning. Just classic waiting on me, huh? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobber down. Fish on. <laughs> I'm trying to change the handle on my reel and buddy hooks up. There we go. Whew. There she is. She's burping. Alright, let's get her back. Going back to the lake, honey. Heck yeah, dude. Nice way to start the morning. Oh yeah. Way to go. Meanwhile, I got the dust heat. This is just not, not good. <laughs> oh my god. The lake and roll. You use this against that wall, you're gonna go through about five a day. Give it to me. Okay, so you'll share 200 meters a day. Fish out! I'm on! Holy balls, it's running! I'm on! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was fucking around. Yeah, it should be. Dude, I thought he was, thought he was <laughs> Oh my god, it just starts running downstream. We'll get that drag. Loosen the drag a little bit. Okay. Oh no. Oh, he's good. Perfect. Yeah, you want to go? Oh, it's just a little guy. What is that? Oh god. <laughs> well, monsters, bro. I absolutely set the hook way too hard for that fish. Um, but I, I, I was expecting it was going to be like, you know, like this big, <laughs> but it wasn't. Hey uh, man. Oh! I'm like this, oh, he's jizzing all over the place. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the money shot right there, boys. <laughs> Look at that. All right, well, Skippy's going to go home. Skippy's going to go home. See you later, man. Well, Look that's that. my first steelhead of, uh, not bare handed. Not bare yeah, it's my first steelhead, not bare handed. <laughs> my first steelhead on spawn sack, so. There it is. Oh, dude. Many more will come. Washes off. Yeah, many more will come. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. So Ryan took me in this back creek and we can see steelhead back here. And apparently finesse is the name of the game, so I got the fly rod back. As you can see, here's the bead. They're right up in this area right here, so I'll do a couple drifts and see if I can't catch one. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but like right in here, there's two fish, and the fish that I've been targeting for a long time was around like six pounds, five pounds, and uh, we just found out that that's the male. This fish Ryan's saying is about 10 pounds. He says it's probably one of the biggest fish he's ever seen in the stream. It's big. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see if we can't get it done. This is absolutely epic. God, there's a lot of pressure now. He ate it too. Adam did. I can't. I, I'm out. Let's get what it. happened? Uh, so I've been trying to get this fish for probably two hours, two and a half hours, and probably about 30 minutes in, he ate and uh, he shot off. A couple head shakes at the top of the water, and my fly came flying back at me. So, oh, you know, live and learn. It's a heartbreak, but we're gonna keep moving down river and see if we can't find another fish. Super freaking windy, don't know what I got on the GoPro, but let's get after it, let's catch another one. Getting the waders off, you know, usual. Just reminiscing on Mav's lost steelhead on the fly. Um, it's a heartbreak. We went a mile down river, we went a mile up river, and we saw a couple more, spooked a couple more, but nothing that looks like it could be caught. It's a buzzkill. I came this close to catching my first steelhead on the fly, but I'm still that much far away. Wow, dude! What in the F? Oh, you don't want that. Kobe. They're actually Kyries? Oh, Kyries. Come on! I think I'm gonna get in the car. I got a long drive ahead of me. Gotta get back to Minneapolis tonight. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Mav, and thanks for 
these two goons for showing me around the Racine area. No problem. For the last couple days. I uh, I apparently can't catch anything bigger than a little skippy, but. Hey, you got one. Got one. Something. Yeah. <laughs> to start. All right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning this episode of Mav. Until next time. Tight lines. Tight lines. Don't be <laughs>